folks. Fortunately, the cows, the gate was open, they're right over there. So I've been able to walk round without, but they could see they're about fresh back, but they've gone over that way. They might have gone to be milked, anything. But quite often when it's windy, they're all over here. I managed to walk round there. Uh, it's not always easy, because when I've been coming down the bumpy track last, last summer, when I was still on the cheddar bus, uh, using the cheddar buses, and I looked in here, the cows were everywhere. So anyway, we've managed to do that, and I'm glad I've done it actually in a way. I was able to stand on some of the perch there and take um, some photos of the quarry area and everything. So I'm really pleased. And this is the closest I get to Cheddar now, by the way. Cheddar isn't far away from me really. But there's no bus. There's no bus service. There is an ax there is a bus, but you've still got that long hike from Axbridge to be quite honest. There. Now I'm gonna be enjoying a lovely afternoon where well, it could be two o'clock now, I don't know. I have got to put my foot down, by the way. Um so it could easy it could easily be two. We should be able to do it. We should be able to do it. Well, that don't quite fit now, that. Pole's moved. There we go. <coughs> well, I've got no choice. Yeah, here's the lovely path. Sheltered from the wind as well, going all the way down to Cheddar, which I've done several times. That's my way to Cheddar in the bus when it used to happen. That was only a year or so ago. In fact, I remember doing it during spring when all the bluebells and wild garlic were out not in, in, in May. And I did it, I'd done it a couple times. I'm glad I'd done it when I did it. It might not have got done otherwise. Right, because it's very windy, folks, I'm now making my way up. Right, folks, there's very little opportunity to video at the moment until I turn left in about five or ten minutes' time and the, the wind will be behind me. Um, I've come a long way. I can see the shoot shelf aerial right over there. It's taken me about three hours to do the walk to here and it's going to take me three hours of enjoyment, enjoying I won't get back for four o'clock, put it that way. I, I can't walk back there in two hours from here. I'm gonna need the three and a four. Uh, I, I'm gonna, if I wanna enjoy the rest of this walk, I'm gonna need the three to four hours. So I can just go at this pace. Um, now quite often in the past I've got, I would go through into the Robert Warren and then out. But what I'm doing today, I'm going to hug the, a, a road. It can be a busy road. Um, can be. I think it'll be busy in an hour's time. So I, hopefully I would have got down it by then. Because that's when the kids are out. Now here's a... You can walk across this field. But normally it's um, full, of, full of cows. And I've never done it. But that takes you to Cheddar. Cheddar Gorge. This is all my walking areas around here, by the way, that I've been doing for 15 years. And they took the 126 away from me. I mean, I used to drive over here as well in my camper van, over to Cheddar, and then walk all this, you know? Or I get the bus and I get off at Sanford and walk. I absolutely loved it, every bit of it. Honey for sale here. There's a way through that takes you down to Cheddar. Okay, that will take you down to Cheddar if you follow that path all the way. Paths I've almost explored. <laughs> Look at him. I've had water off. I've had uh, some water off them that farm before now. And they've done. We've paired all the walls over the past year. 
and still it's still in between winter and spring isn't it even though it's been spring for a month winter still got that little bit of bite in the background lovely green fields he's getting ready to put barbed wire all along there as well and this is the path very well known to me this way through the farm down to piney slides don't know when I'll be able to do that until I can work out what I'm going to get to Ched, get back from Cheddar to Western I can't do that route at the moment I can't do it at the moment because even that green bus the West Link isn't coming Cheddar way so the only the way around it you'd have to fork out and get taxis from Winscombe or from Cheddar to Winscombe you'd have to fork out on a taxi just to get your bus you know yeah it looks like they're doing things in here look all this rubble and that everything's changing landscapes the same but changing and I've enjoyed the walk actually I've had I did have a lot of um indigestion a lot and I'm hoping to eat my half my cheese and tomato in a minute because after I get up here well even from here it all starts downhill you know there might be a couple of little inclines but we now got a lovely walk back to Winscombe instead I did used to sometimes end up at Winscombe by the way yeah I did I would do it in reverse from Cheddar you see so it did happen and I'd go down the West Mendip Way which I'm really looking forward to the whole reason for me doing this massive diversion is because the road is so dangerous over there much more dangerous I think than the small road I've got to do now but not necessarily for all I know this small road could be really bad but there might be ways I can get up you know verges I do part of it anyway but the first bit here I've never walked before now because um, it's not quite kids being picked up yet all the wild mums in their 4x4s are still be at home listening to the archers and having a cup of tea um, and then they get in and they roar up the road to get their children I took glad though to fill this place though I've still got here I've still got here it's not something I'm going to do very often this by the way that's why it's, I'm making the most of it and I want to enjoy these I was going to try and do the four o'clock but it's only because I don't trust the bloke, the bus driver I'm worried he won't turn up in that last bus and I, I would literally have to walk to Con Congressbury to get a Bristol bus and that could be a half an hour, hour walk on top of what I've already done because there was two women I met today and uh, they, they don't trust this bus any more than I do so they're, they're actually got the bus to Winscombe and walking to Congressbury so they don't trust this bus do you know what, I never see anyone get on, with, on it where I am come to Winscombe there's people get on it but I've never there was one bloke only that's ever got on the bus with me and one week I, I was so scared I wouldn't 
the bus wouldn't come, I got on the bus going the opposite direction just to stay on it. Look at that beautiful view. Look at that, that's my Rogue Warren. Look at it. Gorgeous. My Rogue Warren. I can't wait to get in there. I've got a plan when I go in there. Um, I've got a special valley. Hello, sheepies. Yeah, I've got a special valley I found last year. And, um, it's absolutely blissful, peaceful, beautiful, quintessential. And one girl I met on a horse, she said she called it her happy valley. Now here we got got uh, Tynion's Farm, which is uh, where you can go riding, horse stables. Up the top you've got the area of outstanding natural beauty, which I haven't seen for over six months. And I won't be going up there yet. But you know what I can do? I can come up from here, from Winscombe, all around. That is something that is still within my remit. But I wanted to do that bit. Because that, that bit I did earlier, it's got other paths that lead back to Axbridge. So that is still possible for me to do that. I'm just discovering other things that I can do but what I've done today well won't be done very often I don't think so very very hilly either way now I've now got a there's those ancient mounds there This was in the, within the range of getting a bus back, but not all this and over to Cheddar, not at the moment, no. This is the Cheddar stuff. This is the Winscombe stuff. So anyway, here we go. Shipham, one and a half miles. Cheddar, three, because you can get on the Cheddar Road, don't you? Doesn't show, it doesn't show Winscombe, does it? 